It's 942. It's January 4th and the holiday season has come to an end, but remnants of the festivities and holiday gifts may still be sitting around your home. If this is the state of your home, don't worry, you're not alone. Joining me live now is Aubrey Murky from IKEA in Fisher. She's here to help us reset our homes and get organized in the new year. Aubrey, we need your help. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Yes, Let's... I'm sure I am not alone this <laughs> right. morning and that my house is feeling quite disorganized right after the holiday season. I think you're in good company. Well, let's jump in. How to organize and store those holiday decorations. Let's start with that. Yes, awesome. So my biggest tip here, utilizing some of these hard shell bins is a great solution for your fragile items and your Christmas lights. I actually love to utilize used wrapping paper as a super sustainable packaging material for your, or your fragile items. Um, and then we've even used some cardboard from all those leftover boxes we've got lying around the house to keep our lights and beads and even ribbon organized. Um, and then when you're putting away your tree skirts, your stockings, these are super affordable um, bag options for those items. Even your wreaths and garlands fit nicely in these bags and um, make it easy to store away the greenery throughout my home um, during the holiday season to swap it out with a faux tree or even real plants and trees throughout the home this is actually proven to fight those winter blues so a great way as you're taking down all that greenery to swap it out with other greenery that will transition well into spring and then lastly on holiday decor we have utilized our underbed scub and the storage for all of those leftover wrapping paper and wrapping bags. I like to keep those under the bed because this is an item that you're going to possibly need to access a little bit more throughout the year. Yeah, you might want to keep it all together. I like that reusing the paper and the cardboard. That's a really good idea. Let's move on now talking about finding space for the kids new toys. Yes, so my kid has so many new toys this year and I'm left to figure out what to do with them. Uh, so the best solution I have found in my home is to find some small pockets of sto toy storage in all the main living areas of the home. So in here, this is our Finala sofa, and it's got this little secret where it actually has some built-in storage right here in the sectional. Um, and this makes it super easy at the end of the night to go ahead and just clean up the toys. We've thrown in some scub organizers and gliss boxes, so it's easy for the kids to be able to sort and organize and then you can just hide it away when guests come over. I love that. Aubrey, I'm going to move on to the next topic because we've got about 30 seconds left. Let's talk about, um, what about for the grown-ups? our new clothes, shoes, accessories, handbags, things like that? Yeah, so two quick tips. My first one is swapping out all those messy hangers with matching wooden hangers. This is going to give your closet an instant glow up and make you feel a lot more organized. And number two, this is my favorite new item that we carry. This is our Merville Shoe Organizer. These are 99 cents and you can easily store all of your shoes. It allows you to stack them so you can double oh. your shoe storage space. <laughs> Get some more shoes. I love it. Aubrey Murky at Ikea, <laughs> yeah. thank you so much for the ideas. Um, that'll give us a project in the cold and gloomy January and February months. Thank you. There you go. There you go. And for more information, just head to fox59.com slash links. Jim, have you